Well, you can't see it, but welcome to Carlisle, Pennsylvania. And it does look like PA Wilds is not going to be possible. So it is supposed to be quite rainy tomorrow. I'm not sure how well the regular route's gonna be tomorrow, but trying to do PA Wilds would just be a mess because it's gonna have heavy rain on it for tomorrow and probably the next day, and it just won't be worth trying to do. I mean, you saw the mud in the uh, expedition video. I mean, they were hitting severe mud anyway, and they weren't even getting rained on. God, I can see barely anything. I'm not going any faster than this. But yeah, just navigating back to the route, and we'll see what today brings. It should be quite fun. So that was 248 miles yesterday. I'm not looking to do another one of those today. I know that I'm gonna be more off-road than I have been for the last bit. 101 miles to the end of the segment. Gas and grocery in 77, which is when I'll get gas.
roads. Okay. It's hard not to like go fast because the roads are just so much fun. Like I'm not trying to race or go fast or anything. It's just these are so much fun to ride fast. You almost can't help yourself. You just get going. You're like, oh, I'm doing 50. <laughs> maybe, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. What is this? Licking Creek Drive. Okay. Oh, hello. segment. So those horses are pretty used to vehicles passing them and stuff like that. You just gotta do it gently and as quietly as possible. Don't buzz them or the Amish are very nice. Just good all around people. They're very rugged in their beliefs. You don't have to agree with them to respect them. And I respect them. Butterfly! God, I hit you with my nose! Hiking trail? Wow. they use generally for making like brick and pottery and stuff like that as well as then metalworking but there was there were furnaces such as this kind of scattered all over the country you know they are essentially forges you know making various products and there's not much of it left I'm not gonna pay the fee to get into it. It's a state park, so I can't get in with my access pass. But there's a few of the kilns that are kind of somewhat intact. Apparently, basically all of the trees around here have regrown since the furnace stopped being operated because basically they, they had to cut down all the trees to feed the furnaces. So at some point they were cutting an acre a day Alright, subs and grocery, one mile. Oh god. Ugh, wake up. Here it is. Oh hey. Those are both ten arrays? Looks like two ten arrays. Is that possible? Yes it is. How's it going? I see twins. <laughs> One hour later. Welcome to Couches. Just had lunch here. It was excellent. And I ran into two guys going south on Tenere 700s. They just finished the 
New England BDR, and now they're doing the Mid-Atlantic BDR on their way down south to home, which is Georgia. All right, let's go do the thing. <sighs> a good break. I needed that. And the guys I talked to said northeast wasn't too bad, especially if I end up doing non-expert sections. They did all the expert sections except for I think they said one. And they said they weren't that bad. They're also both former trials riders and stuff, so I would imagine they're fairly experienced. Uh, so yeah, so I'll probably finish tomorrow. I'm not sure how far I'm going to get today. The biggest question is going to be how bad does it rain? Because I think I'm going to be getting pissed on pretty much all of tomorrow. Hi, shorn sheep. <laughs> Naked sheep. you can do about it. This is a very pleasant ride.
How's it going? Are you guys doing the scouting for the ride or? Are they? There's like some dual sport ride. I see the signs up on the trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. This is the uh, Mid-Atlantic BDR. How many weeks are you out here? Uh, well, I hit the road in April. It's <laughs> pretty awesome to go out. Yeah. Yeah, I've been out on the road since April. I'm actually doing all of the BDRs. Okay. So I, I'm work connecting up to Canada. Wow. And, and then after that, the only ones I got left is I got sections of California and Nevada. And then I'm done. Yeah. That's awesome. So, wow. yeah. Solo? Yeah. Nice. I rode Washington with a group of guys, but otherwise I've been by myself for all of them. When are you going to be fitting? Uh, I'll do California and Nevada in November after it cools down a little bit. <laughs> I don't feel like riding in 130 degrees if I can help it. All right, cool. Are you sponsored by anybody or? Uh, not really. I do YouTube stuff and things like that. So, yeah, I'd, I had heard that there was like a dual sport ride going on, or, and I might cross it. I saw a bunch of people like scouting stuff yesterday. Mix a single track uh, on road. Off -road. Stuff that probably wouldn't be a whole lot of fun on this. You could probably run it. I could probably do some of it. I might be too fat for parts of it. Run a lot of it. Huh? <laughs> Maybe take the bags off. We yeah, <laughs> yeah. If I took all the stuff off of this oh, bike, and guys on big bikes. Yeah, yeah. Um, I saw twelve hundred. I think uh, you can run a lot of this. It lot just lot uh, you know, single track could get a little tight, but other sure. Than that, you could run a lot. A well, lot I mean, I mean, road. God, the Mabder, the route's been so smooth. I'm just cruising along in fifth gear at fifty. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. No, this is a good. This is a real fun area to ride in Pennsylvania. There's I don't know how many bikes are out here today. Are you doing the wilds? No, because I'm probably going to be in that area tomorrow and it's probably going to be pouring on me. So I'm just going to be trying to get out of Pennsylvania at that point. <laughs> well, I'm going to get going, but have fun. Right, this your Instagram? This Instagram and YouTube and stuff, yeah. What do you think? Instagram and YouTube and all that. Man, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Have fun, brother. Yep, you too. What's that? Remember the outlaw dual sport guy. Outlaw dual sport? Okay. Well, and and watch for yourself on the video. So <laughs> it'll be a while till it comes out, but it'll be in there eventually. Hey, have have fun. Yeah, take it easy. Yeah, if I didn't have any luggage on, I might be able to do a lot of the single track and stuff. If there's somebody on a 1200, then I would probably be for just fine. This is the alt. I can't read it. Po deal? I, I don't know. I can't read it. Something like that. And it's actually shorter than the uh, regular route, which is just over to my right. From everything I've heard, the expert sections on the map here are about the same as the regular sections on everything else. So. That I can, should be able to handle this. Group photo spot. This is the alt. Why isn't this the route? There's nothing. I mean, I guess maybe if this is muddy, it might be kind of a mess, but. This why this is an expert section. A slightly rocky descent. The stuff in section three is worse than this.
руки. Yeah, I mean that's not horrible by any means. You can pick just about any line you want. And you'll make it through. Going up that would probably be a little bit more challenging, but it still wouldn't be bad. <laughs> 